testing, testing, one, two, three. But I'm going to like inculcate this with a another video, like another type of content. A lot of people have been asking me this question because as me too, as some of you may know, I own a small business at the shop gym. Here's the page here. Yes, go back. So this video is going to be like get to know me and tips on starting a small business, especially like the accessories and jewelry business. I was like where I'm more experienced in. But the get to know me will be at like the end of the video after I'm done talking about the business thing. So let's get to the video. So the first thing I'm going to say, like before even going into before you even start opening your business and you do your research, this is very important. Before you go into the type of business you are going to be, clothes, accessories, jewelry, books, even a service, do your research. Know what you're going into, know the type of audience you're looking for. Know the business rules in the community you live in. Know how you're going to do your deliveries. Know the pricing of your packages. Just do a basic run through of everything you need to do, so you don't end up clueless when you open your business. Like here in Nigeria, you can ship with like courier services or dispatch riders, that kind of thing. Get a company. Know their prices. Know where you're going to get your product from. Know where you're going to get your capital from. If you are doing a service, products you're going to use. For Just your know service. what you're going to do. Like have you and inside before opening the business and something that's one mistake i made i just went to wah. i didn't do my research properly i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know the type of materials that came with jewelry i just i was like basically clueless and i was like okay let's open a business let's open a business that was a huge mistake and i honestly feel that if i knew what i was doing from the beginning i would have gone like way further than i have come now but god is still good number two now you've opened your business, the very, very important thing is that you find a good name, a good catchy name actually, that will make your brand stand out. When I first opened my brand, I had a really long name. I'm going to put it on the screen here because I didn't want to save my mouth. I don't have any idea why I put that name, but after a while, like I had to change my, I had to change the name like into the business and it was not even the best thing because at that point I had printed bags with that long ass name. So it wasn't even easy at all, but I was able to like transition. But it would be easier for me if I just picked a catchy name from the beginning. But to look for something that's going to make your business stand out. I'm telling you, if you're opening a jewelry business, there are hundreds and thousands of jewelry businesses. If you're opening clothes, clothing businesses, streetwear. But what you need to do is something to make your brand stand out. Something to know that oh, this thing is particular in this brand. Something that other people will copy. That's the essential thing. Then what else again? Number three. Another thing that is essential when you are like starting everything, for me personally, when you are growing your audience, I think it's a good thing to invest in micro influencers. Those are like people that have between like 10k to 50k, they're about, it gives you a wider, a wider reach with people. I don't know if you would like, if you have the funds, invest in influencers, brand ambassadors especially, they give you. A really good insight in where your business is going to number four take your product photography extremely serious if you can invest in a good photographer that is going to edit them for you do it i'm telling you it's worth it i don't even like people are not even looking at the quality of products anymore they, yes they're still looking at it but what attracts somebody to your brand or your your business page is how it looks your branding colors, your product photography, how your bio is set, your reviews, the color of your highlights. Let me tell you, this generation will turn everything to aesthetic. So, give yourself that aesthetic. Give yourself that those brand colors. Give yourself what you need to make that brand go. You understand? Yeah. Number five. What is it? Number six. I don't even know. Watch your competitors. Look at what they are doing. Like somebody you are struggling with in the like business industry now. Watch your competitors. Look at what they are doing. Well, let me not even lie. I feel personally, it's okay to be friends with your competitors. Like for me now, I'm 
friends with my competitor here like some of them because you never know like when you need when you don't need something it's that kind of thing but just look at them look at what they are doing know what they are doing that kind of thing then the last thing is follow related content look at the big brands based on what you're doing look at that okay if you're into makeup look at that big makeup artist that you want to be like if you're into clothing look at gucci prada all those i don't know like have like a goal you know what i'm saying have like a goal know what you're doing know where you want yourself to be but most important thing is give yourself time success is not overnight i'm telling you i've been here for two years congrats to me <laughs> i've been here for two years but i'm telling you i'm not where i want to be i'm not where i thought i would see myself in two years but just give yourself time and pray pray because there's honestly no money but pray like your people will come like customer will come and rate yourself in your business don't negotiate your prices because one customer says she's not buying know your stand know your worth calculate your prices very well calculate your price so you don't end up falling at a loss two i mean what am i into <laughs> there also the last thing i meant to mention are four apps that you are going to need as a small business owner because once when you're running a small business you're the accountant you are the game model some people you are the model you are the content creator you are the graphic designer you are all of them so you have to keep keep on track you have to know what you are doing you know what i mean so the number one app i'm going to recommend for you is canva for your graphic designing for your content creation canva is one of the best apps i'm going to recommend canva is here this one it works on your laptop your mobile device your um your the account is free but then there's like a paid version that you can actually invest in invest in i actually have the paid version because it's better with you have a lot of elements to work with and you have like templates to work with it's always better number two if you are running like a website you need like a you need like a, like a small app manager like these are a few website i'm going to link them in the description below but these are like a few free e-commercial websites that work in nigeria and some other places this is like the top two these are the ones i've used i'm currently using Boompa now but i've used flutterwave also but i prefer Boompa because they have like a mobile app mobile app um mobile app manager and you can record offline sales too so i personally prefer Boompa but anyone can go like anywhere you are anyone can actually go it just depends number three have sheets or an accounting app to keep your record your sales your profits your loss keep them in place you need to know how much you're making you need to know how much you're losing you need to be business focused you need to know what you're doing then number four is number four you need to have like an editing app if you're the one doing your product photography that is you can use their free ones they are paid ones you can use adobe photoshop you can even use your iphone camera it all depends on your budget and where you're starting and all and all those kind of things and other things that are like not apps you're going to need i highly recommend you get a note notebook for your for your business also you need an email for your business you really need like an email personally for your business if you want to go far i'm telling you it saves you a lot of stress and trauma and saves you from a lot of things but i can't even explain it but please just get an email for your business <laughs> that's the end of the story i also like a bonus tip i also want you to know that social media advertisements will not always work instagram ads facebook ads tiktok ads that's why i said you actually need to invest in content not content creators sorry yeah content creators brand ambassadors influencers all those kind of things because they can be wearing a necklace where did you get this necklace from oh i got this necklace from chantel 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 but it all depends on your your budget last last so guys that was like a basic run through of the tips you're going to need if you want to start a small business and all those kind of things and like my personal experiences then this is the get to know me part random facts about me that nobody asked for my name is tara that's my nickname but my full name is omotara suleiman i am 17 years old i'm born on the 18th of march 2005 pisces I love traveling. I love traveling so much. I also love managing my small business, Shop Jades. I always put it here again, Shop Jades. 
Um, currently, I'm in Abuja, Nigeria. That's where I reside. What else again? I'm not in school yet. I graduated last year. But I'm in a gap year currently, and I don't know which school I'm going to yet. So when I find out, I will tell you guys. So that's basically it. Sorry that this was a bit boring because this was more of talking, but I better I promise to give you guys better content. Just be patient with me. And I pray for pray for consistency for me. Pray for consistency. Um yeah. So I'm going to drop my socials at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of this video. If you stay to the end, you're a real one. But other than that, share the video, tell your friend, tell everybody. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, Hey